Hey, it's Joe Glines, and in this video in AutoHotKey in Excel, I'm going to show you how to um, automate selecting a given range of cells. Um, sometimes, you know, I, with COM, I usually do everything programmatically, but sometimes you just want to be able to select some cells and possibly send keystrokes or do something else, but you just want to be able to control where you're setting or possibly un unselect it, especially when you're trying to copy data in from an outside program and the newer versions of Excel, it's really, to me, irritating. If you have something selected um, and then i go to another program and hit copy when i go to paste it it doesn't take it from the other program it's incredibly annoying so being able to unselect might be something you might want to do so anyway um of course we got to get a handle to the pointer you know i should add that here so get handle to current active excel file um, and this is all in my Excel function library, which I've included, you know, um, in the documentation here. And there's a ton of videos on it and topics. So um, now I'm going to start typing here Excel. Um, so maybe what is it? Select. Select sheets. Select no. Select values. What did I call it? Um, set. No, I'm going to have to. I don't remember what in the world I called it. So let's go into the Excel function library. Um, select. How come that wasn't in there? Excel select range. That's my little screen clipping tool. Excel. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. I need to refresh because I saved it. Apparently, um, Studio hadn't refreshed the. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. So hopefully now it'll be in here. There it is. So I that was actually a new one. I didn't have um, the select range in there. So um, I added it to my Excel function library, but um, apparently I needed to refresh Studio to tell it to refresh the Code Explorer to know it's in there. So I'm going to push in my um, handle to Excel, and then I'm going to tell it the range. Let's say I want to select E1 through E9. So E1 to E9. Uh, now here, I've made it where... I can pass a sheet name to it, um, or if I don't, it will do the active worksheet. So um, I'm gonna save this, reload it. Let me let me highlight Excel, because it, it, if it's, oh, and look at that, sorry, I didn't even run it yet. So now when I run it, so see, it selected it, right? But let's say I come back in here and I put in a comma and put in sheet one, save it, reload it. Um, let's go back to Excel. Let me click off of that. All right, so now when I run it, it's going to first activate that worksheet and then activate those cells. I tried it without activating the worksheet, and Excel was bombing on me. So apparently, you need it's kind of looking for like user interaction. I guess that you're you're actually on that worksheet when you select something. You can't select something on a sheet that's not active, uh, apparently. Um, so that's it. Um, again, it, it can be pretty helpful for. Um, just when you want to put your cursor in a certain place or highlight certain things, and then maybe do something with that later. Um, this is just simply showing you how to select it. Thanks.